Hey admins, welcome to this special edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. I'm Garth, a product manager here at Google. Today, I'm excited to talk with you about two powerful features in the G Suite directory that will help your users get more value out of G Suite and improve their productivity. The first feature is about populating users' directory profiles so they can benefit from G Suite's intelligent room booking and user display features. And second, creating custom directories to control who users can find in autocomplete lists and searches and whose profiles they can view. We'll highlight the benefits for your organization and give you a quick demo to get you started. When you add users to G Suite, their username and email address appear in the directory. The directory facilitates communication and collaboration for your users by powering autocomplete and search in apps like Gmail, Drive, and Docs. You can also add rich profile information to your users' profiles. User profile information helps your users find each other easier and understand who they're collaborating with. You can also add external contacts or calendar resources by using programming tools or marketplace apps. These contacts will also appear in autocomplete and search results. To get started with the directory, make sure it is turned on in the admin console. To do this, from the home page, go to Menu on the top left, select Directory, and then Directory Settings. Click Sharing Settings. And in the Contact Sharing section, select Enable Contact Sharing. From here, you can also specify which email addresses to include for each user in the shared directory and what is shown in the browsable directory in Contact Manager. Finally, make sure to save your settings. For more information on directory, check out the Help Center. Now that you're set up, let's take a look at the benefits your users will get from rich profile information, and then learn how to populate that information. Whether your users are scheduling a meeting or sending an email, it's important that they can easily learn more about who they're interacting with. That's why we've added people cards to Gmail, Calendar, Chat, and other apps. When users' profiles have been populated, you will see their information like job title, department, and desk location. To see this card, tap or hover over a user's name on mobile or the web. We've also added calendar intelligent room booking to suggest meeting rooms based on a user's main work location and the size and equipment of a room. To get started, first define buildings, features, and resources, such as meeting rooms available for use by your employees. Then, set main user work locations on your user profiles. Calendar will then suggest rooms that are the right size and are close to meeting participants. You can populate the data that powers these features in a few different ways. The Users section of the Admin Console, Google Cloud Directory Sync, or the Admin SDK Directory API. Here, you can include profile information when you add a user or update a user profile. In the example, when updating a user's profile, Ensure the following fields are populated for display in people cards and to power intelligent room bookings in calendar, including job title, department, manager, and work location. When we go over to Gmail, we see that the information we populated appears in that user's card. It will also appear elsewhere in G Suite. For more information on populating users' profile with Directory Sync or Admin SDK, check out the Help Center. You've seen how the G Suite directory and rich profiles promote connection and collaboration between your users. But what if you need different sets of users to have access to directories containing different collections of users. For example, you might want to give full-time employees access to find and see all users in your organization, but at the same time, want to limit access of contractors to your organization. 
It's now possible to create multiple custom directories, each containing a different set of users. You can then assign a custom directory to the different organizational units in your domain. Members of any OU will only be able to see or find users who are in that OU's custom directory. To include users in custom directories, add the users to a Google group, and then add that group to each of the relevant directories. For example, if you have different types of users, such as full-time, hourly, or temp, you might create a different group for each. You can create and manage groups with the admin console, Google Cloud Directory Sync, or the Groups API. You can create custom directories in the admin console by going to Menu in the top left, selecting Directory, and then Directory Settings. Click Visibility Settings. Here, you can control the visibility settings for the individual organizational units. On the left, select the organizational unit you want to create the directory for. Under Directory of Visibility, select Users in a custom directory. And at the bottom, click Create New. Enter a name for the new directory. Under the Include Groups section, check the box next to the groups you want to include in the custom directory. Click Create. Finally, click Save. For more information on setting up custom directories, visit the Help Center. Well, that's it for our show today. You can subscribe to the What's New for G Suite Admins YouTube channel for more videos like this. And check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New in G Suite newsletter to stay informed. This has been Garth with our G Suite Directory Special Edition. Thanks for watching.